another motherfucking video. How y'all living, fam? Hope everyone's having a great week. Whenever y'all are watching this shit right up and through here. And y'all know, when we're up in this motherfucker right here, we trying to do a makeup video today. And today we're gonna be doing a first impressions on a newer foundation that just came out from CoverGirl. Bam, okay? This is the CoverGirl Ready, Set, Gorgeous, Fresh Complexion, oil-free foundation, okay? So this is what it looks like, the container itself, okay? And throughout this video, you're gonna see several side-by-side -side shots and stuff, because I actually shot some videos so you guys could actually see what the display looks like and all that shit, and uh, price points and all that, so just be aware that's gonna come up in the video, so if you guys wanna see the display, you'll have that as well. Y'all know I like to do my videos thorough, okay? So basically, this right here is a newer foundation. It's been out probably for a couple of months now, and it is an oil-free foundation. And and according to the website, let's look at the website to kind of see what they boast about this product. It's supposed to be oil free. Uh, the number one thing I don't see is there is no SPF in this and y'all know I love a foundation with an SPF. But the one thing that this does say is that it's great for sensitive skin types, which y'all know I have sensitive skin. It's also oil free, meaning that this probably is gonna give us a matte look and y'all know I love me a matte face, okay? If y'all wanna know my skin range and my skin type, I'm more normal to dry skin, although I do perspire in my T-zone, so I do have a tendency to get it shinier in this in those areas specifically and I'm an NW45 just generally speaking if you're looking for a color range on my skin okay and I'm also cappuccino on a drugstore side cappuccino and Revlon nearly naked this supposedly also boasts that this is a long-lasting all-day foundation and it's supposed to prevent uh, perspiration as well as oil it's supposed to draw that away from your skin so it's supposed to stay matte and that's what this thing is boasting the color that I got is soft sable and that is in 320 it is the darkest shade that they had I got this at my Target and actually got it from a, for a really good price point. It's $6.99 at the Target that I got it at. Here's the deal with this foundation. This bad boy is price different airwear. I went to three separate places just randomly because I had to go pick up some things. You know what I'm saying? And I saw the foundation in all three spots. So that would be CVS, Walgreens, and Target. Target had our my skin tone and the other two places did not the price points for this i got it for 6.99 at target but everywhere else cvs had it for 8.99 um and on the website for cvs it's seven dollars and some change on target's website at this very moment right now which it could be reduced by the time you guys see this video it's also seven dollars and some change there's a bogo going on at walgreens so if you're interested it's definitely cheaper at walgreens just based on what i saw this particular line also comes with a concealer as well as a powder which i was able to find how However, y'all already know concealers never really come in our skin tones and so from what I saw, I was like, I don't even really know if I want to mess with that, you know what I'm saying? Especially because the concealer seemed a little lighter than I would like. We already know, if you see the display, which I'm going to go ahead and show you in a clip here shortly, if it's not next to me, okay. Um, as you can see from the display, it's uh, actually being promoted by Miss Katy Perry, which is one of the lightest motherfuckers on the planet. You already know. My expectations weren't very high as far as seeing colors that were in our beautifully brown skin tone. Okay, so based on what I saw, this is like I said, the darkest skin tone. There are 12 shades in this collection and 320 is the darkest, but 315 is one shade essentially lighter than this one. And so basically based on what I saw, there are only really two shades that would really flow with brown skin tones. Okay, they got plenty of everything else. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and apply this bad boy and see what's up. First off, it is a plastic container, as you guys can see. We've also got a squeegee type of situation going on. So let's go ahead and put it on my, here we go. Now, as you guys can see, it's not the reddest in the world, but like I said, you know, it's got a little bit of red, definitely redder than the 315. The 315, oh, and that actually does not look bad on my skin at all, okay? Nice and creamy. It's not super duper thick just based on what I can see so far. It says to apply it with um, your fingertips on your face. So I'm gonna go ahead and do it. I don't like doing it like that, but because I wanna make sure to give CoverGirl a chance here, here it is again, bam, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing. I'm gonna go ahead and, we're gonna go ahead and dab it on. This is not my favorite way to apply foundation, y'all. Y'all know, so I'm gonna go ahead and buff it out. But I at least want you guys to see what it looks like and how it applies on my skin, okay? I'm kind of shocked, but it's not that bad, right? From what you guys can see, that's what it looks like on my skin right there before buffing this bad boy out. So you already know, I'm gonna go ahead and buff it out with a brush, okay? This is my Sigma Round Kabuki F82 brush. Y'all know I love flat top kabukis to set my, my foundation, all right? Here we go. All right. Now this is supposed to be a medium coverage foundation. 
So here, ooh, okay. Okay, cover girl, all right, boo-boo. Take a gander, y'all. You guys know I have hyperpigmentation on this side of my face primarily, although I have it in several different areas. And from what I see, it is, first of all, super duper light, number one. I mean, really light feeling on the face, which is great. The other thing is that um, it feels more and seems more like a lighter coverage foundation. We're gonna see if it's a buildable type of situation. So we're gonna go ahead and blend the other. It, it actually it seems to match my skin really well. I'm curious about how this is gonna work, y'all. You guys see hyperpigmentation still seeming to come through, okay? So this so far seems on the first application to be light coverage, but we're gonna see if we can build on this. Boom! Here's what my face looks like after just having put it on, okay? So this is without me letting it set now. We already know it's supposed to be matte, so you already know when I put a foundation on, I usually give it a few minutes to kind of do what it's supposed to do if it's supposed to set. I wanna make sure I've allowed it to do that because you guys already know I'm gonna set it with some powder because that's how I would normally apply my, my makeup. It's definitely more light to medium. I'd say more on the lighter side and um, that's just simply because you guys can still see a little bit of the hyperpigmentation I have on the left side of my face, but as far as it's overall look right off the top, and I can tell it's setting right now. Can you guys see it setting in front of your face? Um, I can definitely tell the color is not bad. Keep in mind, I've gotten some color this summer, so I'm a little darker than I normally am. So uh, we are gonna see how this goes. So I'm gonna go ahead and let it set, and uh, I'll be back and show you guys what it looks like. All right, y'all, so take a gander. I've let it set for about five minutes. Okay, and so far, it's not ridiculously dewy. It's not super dewy matte either, but you can definitely tell it is not as shiny as it was when I first applied it on my skin. We're gonna go ahead and set it with my usual dual matte powder in 218, and I'll be right back. So I went ahead, put a nice light dusting of powder on my face, and it actually looks really, really, really nice. So uh, if you guys can see here, here's this side of my face. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and back up so y'all can see it. All right, not bad at all, okay? And like I said, it's just a super light dusting of my Duo Matte Powder. I didn't put too much on because I want the foundation to do what it's supposed to do, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of my face and then show you guys what it looks like with the blush and all that shit. Boom, all right, y'all, here's the face, okay? So normally I would do like a nude lip or whatever because I'm just gonna be running around running errands or whatever the case, okay? And uh, getting out a little bit, which is good because I'll be in the elements, which is, you know, and it's hot as hell outside, hence the, uh, the overcast here that you guys see. So I apologize for the light issue however here is my face now one quick observation that I can tell automatically this foundation is a, an extremely drying foundation so if you have dry patches on your face it's going to make them more pronounced I can already see it on my face and you guys probably can't tell real close up but when I look in the mirror and I look in the um, on the other side of this little mirror that I have over here that has a more magnified effect it's definitely one of those things that if you have dry patches on your face it's gonna accentuate those dry patches okay so you guys are gonna probably ask me what I'm rocking on my lips I'm rocking this BAM right here this is Milan color statement lipstick in Uptown Mauve. You already know the deal, okay? We're gonna go ahead and rock this motherfucker all day long and we're gonna come back and let you guys know whether I had to reapply powder or do any dusting of my face to pre pre prevent anything being shiny. We're gonna see if this thing holds up. I'm gonna go ahead and check it with y'all in a little bit. Let me give you the time. Hold up. That's an ugly ass face I just made. Okay, hold up. Okay, bam, it is 11.47 in the a.m. Hopefully you guys can see that, but I know the, t the, the phone is gonna make my, my lighting change. See that? <sighs> change lights. Anyway, all right, so it is 11.47 in the a.m. I'm gonna be just running around doing my fizz nye, as I usually do, and I'm gonna come back and I'll let you guys know my thoughts on this foundation right up and through here. <laughs> I'll be back. Boom, I'm back, bitches. Y'all miss me. Okay, so want to real quick come in and show you guys my face after several hours of wow well, Your girl has been rocking this foundation for over seven hours, okay? And no, your girl ain't booty ass naked <laughs> Although wouldn't be surprised if I was I'm rocking a little toot top, okay? So I have not touched up my face since you guys saw me last and y'all saw me last at 11.47 in the a.m. It is now 711 in the p.m. okay and basically thought this would be plenty of time to basically test this out to see how long it lasts because honestly I don't wear foundation any more than five six hours four five six hours and most people typically don't it's a drugstore foundation too there's only so long it's gonna go you know what I'm saying I mean shit is 699 all right so this is what my face looks like I haven't even touched up my lippy the only thing I did was put a lip conditioner on it from Mac as you guys can see foundation is still there but some of the blush has dissipated okay 
And if you guys are just looking at my face just on set here, you can see I'm shiny around my nose area and around my forehead. Now, I should let you know I was able to get on Elements today, had a bunch of errands to run, it was hot as hell outside. So your girl perspired through this shit. And if you're anything like me, if you're a Haitian or you're an island girl, you know how we perspire on our face, okay? So I was really able to test this out because of course it boasts that number one, it's long lasting, number two, it stays matte, and number three, that's gonna draw that perspiration away from your face, right? Perspiration and oils away from your face. Pleasantly surprised at how this $6.99 foundation held up, okay? I really didn't feel as though I started to look like this until about hour five and a half, probably five hours in or so of wearing the foundation. It actually held up very, very well. I wasn't expecting a miracle from this foundation, so it's definitely a foundation that I would definitely say you could wear for four or five hours and get away with it without not having to do too many touch-ups, okay? But anywhere past that, you're gonna start to have to touch up your face, okay? Another thing is, if you guys are drier in your skin zone, okay, your area, your skin, okay, and you have any dry patches whatsoever, you are absolutely gonna wanna stay away from this daggone product, because like I said earlier, I could tell that it was settling in the drier portions of my face, which is exactly what it's gonna do for anyone who has any dry patches. It's gonna just sit there and make them stand out even more. So this is definitely not something uh, for someone who has very dry skin or dry patches on their face whatsoever. It definitely settles in lines and wrinkles. You guys can obviously can tell I got laugh lines, you know. So it does settle in lines and wrinkles, but again, that does not surprise me because I'm not looking for a miracle in this mofo. I'm just looking to see if it's a decent foundation for the price and for it being drugstore. This is more foundation for more of you guys that have more combination to normal skin. I wouldn't say I would recommend it to someone who has oily skin all around. Personally, I don't think that this is even worth it. I mean, at the end of the day, yes, yeah, $6 and some change or whatever the case. But I mean, there are other foundations out there that do much better with oilier skin types. I would probably say for those of you guys who have more combination skin or normal skin, this is a foundation you could definitely go for if you're looking for something on the go real quick, inexpensive and easy peasy. Another thing, if you anything like me, if you an island girl or you Haitian and you perspire, on your face, boo boo. Stay the fuck away from this shit because I'm gonna tell you right the fuck now, just based on what I saw, because it was hot as hell outside when I was running around today with this on my face. And let me tell you, even though it is light feeling and it feels amazing on the skin and it truly, like this is probably one of the few foundations I can truly say, does not feel like you have a thing on your face. The minute you have any kind of perspiration, any water, anything, if it decides to drip down your face, you will have a line from where that water done hit your foundation and it will just streak all the way down your face because this is a very, very movable foundation. So if you perspire on your face or any of that nature, even if you have dry, normal skin, you just happen to be someone who perspires, this is not the foundation for you. Don't be going to no outdoor concerts rocking this shit right here. You come back to me talking about Sandy, you had said it's for normal skin. Each, I told you, if you perspire on your face, don't wear this boo boo. You've been warned. This isn't a bad foundation at all. Not for the price point, not for the fact that it's drugstore or whatever the case. I'm actually pleasantly surprised at how long it, it held up staying matte before I actually felt as though I would have needed to touch up. It held up for at least five hours, five and a half hours or so before I felt like I needed to go ahead and powder up. But I was like, I really want them to see what it looks like after this amount of time of wear. So all in all, would I buy this again? No, because y'all know there are far better drugstore foundations out there. All in all, it's an okay foundation, it's okay. It did decent, it actually held up pretty well. Um, if you're on a budget, it's definitely a go, but for those of you guys who have really dry skin or really oily skin, I would really, really stay away from this foundation in general. I'd probably say um, it's okay. It's, I would say that's like a thumbs like this. I don't know, thumbs up, not all thumbs up all the way. And not necessarily a thumbs down. It's not the worst foundation in the world, but it's okay. It, it does okay, okay? Let me know what you guys think down below. Let me know if you guys have found this foundation. If you guys have actually tried it out, let me know what your thoughts are. Um, it's been getting a lot of rage here on the YT, but I'm gonna keep it funky with y'all. I mean, it's not for every skin type, even though it boasts, boasts oil-free and matte, okay? It's not for every skin type, all right? Anyway, let me know down below if there are any other products you guys want me to do a battle of the brands with or a first impressions video on. Comment any of those things down below. Let me know if you guys tried out this foundation. Let me know what you guys think of the foundation as a whole. Thumbs up these videos if you love seeing these videos from your girl and you already know what to do as always. Follow me on Twitter, twitter.com forward slash socialize Sandy. Hit me up on my Facebook fan page or my Pinterest page. Those links are down below. 
Hit me up on my blog, thesocialitelife.blogspot.com, and hit me up on Instagram at Socialite Sandy. And you already know I love y'all, and I will see y'all in the next video. Love y'all. Bye. Turn yes, honey, I can't. <laughs> Juice is over here listening to anything and everything LeBron. Oh, come on, man. Everything and anything LeBron. I, oh, I, I, man, I mean. What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? This is. This is, this is what this am I doing?